Hey guys, it's Al with ZZ Performance. Um, I was putting the slingshot back together, getting ready for the race season. A little running a little behind. Um, and I thought of one of the quick tricks that I do to help get the ATI installed that I wanted to share with you guys to help make things easier. So if you've ever put a stock crank pulley or an ATI on before, you know that you have to line the oil pump gears up because they slide over the outside of the, uh, the ATI hub. And that can be really tricky when the ATI is a press fit. And so you'll hear, uh, I think the basic description is even using your stock crank pulley to line up the oil pump gears, then put the ATI on. There's an even easier way as long as you have room for it. So what you'll do is get your gasket on. There's dowel pins that hold it. And then take your front cover, slide it onto the dowel pins. And instead of the normal front cover bolts, just grab a couple longer M8 bolts and thread them in a few turns on the top two corners. And now you have a nice little slider that your front cover can ride on. So you can slide the front cover out to get your oil pump lined up. Now with our, the cranks that we sell on our race block, we have the extended keyway. The ATI does slip enough that you can engage that first keyway. So when you have your front cover hanging here, you can now get it through the oil pump gears and then you can peek over the top. I don't know if you can get that in the camera and see where the keyway is. And you can start working your pulley on until your keyway lines up. Just like that. So now I've got the first key engaged. I've got the pulley started. And you can just let this slide here as you use your installer tool to press the pulley on all the way. Uh, so that's all it is. Just a, a thing that I've been doing, and I know there's a couple other Ecotech guys been doing that for years, uh, but it saves you a lot of headaches when you're trying to put your ATI on.